Hello, everyone, and welcome to Sports Outlet. I'm your host, Michael Joswick, and I'm joined here today by Ellie Shuckman. With the Stanley Cup playoffs starting last week and the draft lottery completed, there's plenty to talk about, so let's get right to it. With the Oilers winning the draft lottery, it is assumed that they are going to select top prospect Connor McDavid. Will he be the boost that they need to further build this team, Ellie? You know, McDavid is a phenomenal young player, but the Oilers have a lot of building to do. I mean, McDavid, he's only 18 years old. In 47 games this year, he had 44 goals, 120 points. That's phenomenal. However, the Oilers, they haven't made the playoffs since 2006. You know, they, they need a bona fide goalie. They need at least two more solid defensemen. You have veteran guys and, and Andrew Ference and Mark Fain. Um, you got the young guys, Taylor Hall, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and there's a lot that McDavid can do in that organization. Mm -hmm. However, there's a feeling that he can bring more to them than they can bring to him. And with a young guy like that, Wayne Gretzky came out last week saying that he could be one of the greatest of all time. He's the next Sidney Crosby. He's the next Wayne Gretzky in some sense. That's a nice endorsement right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, I just fear that in that organization, he's not going to get the environment that he needs. Um, the Oilers, if they can get another player, someone that he can build off of, mm -hmm. then there's something to be said there. But it'll be interesting to see come June how it all plays well, out. Well, if that's the direction the Oilers want to go, they better hope he's the real deal because they've had the number one overall pick three of the past yeah. five years. And four of the past five years, they had at least a top three pick. Mm -hmm. So. I don't think he's I like I think it's hard to pass up on a talent like him. Right. He's obviously a good young scorer. He's a good playmaker. I always say one of the more important pl uh, positions in hockey mm -hmm. is center and goaltender, and he could fill that need right there. Yeah. The problem with the Oilers is I don't think it's offense. They can put the puck in the net. They need strong defensive help. They gave right. up nearly three and a half goals last year, which mm -hmm. is not very good to say the least. They could use maybe some more goaltending help. It's it's going to be hard because like he is probably the real deal. He's like Wayne Gretzky said, he's probably the next big thing. Mm -hmm. But I think he doesn't really feel a need for that team. He, they need some strong defensive help. On the other hand, he could be the guy to like bring it all together, to bring those young guys, Nugent Hopkins, Hall, like bring them all together. Uh, it's a tough call, but I think you got to go with the talent. Like yeah, exactly. And I think it's just too much of an opportunity that they're not going to pass up on. And give it a couple of years, and maybe you'll see some more players starting to go to Oilers, starting to go to Edmonton to to build off of McDavid. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Yeah, hopefully for Oilers fans, they've had a rough go of it of late. They yeah. have a lot of young pieces in place. They've had three number one picks. Mm -hmm. Hopefully sooner or later it gels together and they can be a good young team for that fan base. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on to our second question. With the first round of the playoffs well underway, what would your dream Stanley Cup matchup be, Ellie? You know, I may be a little bit biased here, but I have to go Rangers and Anaheim Ducks. I think that would just be fantastic. There are two electrifying teams. They both both play with a lot of speed. They they skate in. They have good puck possession. And I think that would just be a really exciting series. Um, you have the Rangers. Their defense, arguably one of the best overall defensively uh, defensive teams in the league. And the Ducks, they have a bit of an underrated defense, but they're still right there. Mm -hmm. um, you have Ryan Getzlaff, Corey Perry for them. Those those two guys can combine for a lot of goals. However, the Rangers, yes, you have Rick Nash, their star, but you have up and down their line, their, their scoring goals. Exactly. Derek Stepon, Kevin Hayes, you can't, can't count him out. Um, and with their defense and everything, I just think that those two teams going back and forth make for some exciting yeah. hockey for sure. Yeah, I think when you put the Ducks offense against that Ranger defense mm -hmm. and Henrik Lundqvist, that's a great matchup. That was a matchup I considered, like, yeah. I would really want to see. I'm going to go a little differently. I have the Rangers. I would love to see the Rangers in the Stanley Cup Finals, even though I'm a Devils fan, unfortunately. <laughs> I think they are a really good team, and I would love to see them. Mm -hmm. i like to see them play the Chicago Blackhawks. Yeah. I think there's a lot of star power right there in that matchup. Jonathan Taze, uh, Patrick Kane, who just came of back. Course. Going up against, Hen like you said, Henrik Lundqvist, Steve Nash, that killer Ra Rangers defense. I would love to see that matchup. I think it's a good uh, goaltending matchup, too. Yeah. You have an original six matchup. Uh, you have two really good coaches in there. I think this could be very exciting. It could be a great thing for hockey. Yeah. But I, I, I like your argument, though, for Anaheim and uh, Rangers, mainly for another East-West matchup. Yeah. That would be really cool to see. And who knows? It may even come down between you know the Ducks and Blackhawks. Who knows what's going to happen? That would, so. be, that would be a fun series, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll do it for our first segment. After the break, we'll get into our rapid-fire round. Stay with us. Welcome back to Sports Outlet. It's now time for our rapid fire round. We're going to get each going to get three questions and we'll have 30 seconds to respond. Ali, we'll start with your questions. Winnipeg finally returned home for a playoff game for the first time in 19 years. And although they lost, what does this say about the future of this team? You know, I think it says a lot. There was a report that when Winnipeg first got off the plane, you know, in there at 2.30 in the morning, there were over 200 fans waiting outside. The fans, they want it. And 
I don't think they're going to go very far this year. They're down 3-0 in the series right now. But I think that they can feed off of this. I mean, this is a team we said they hadn't been back to Winnipeg in, in 19 years. They're finally there. You have the right pieces. You got the top line, Andrew Ladd, Brian Little, Blake Wheeler, Dustin Bufflin, Toby Enstrom. You can't count out their goalie, um, Andre Pavlok. And I just think that with the fan support that they have, Come the next couple of seasons, we're going to see them go make it's, a long run. It's certainly a great thing for Winnipeg fans. It's been such a long time, mm -hmm. and I think they have enough pieces there, maybe one or two more, and they could yeah. be a danger, like a dangerous team in the playoffs. Absolutely. All right, for your second question, with how good the Rangers have been, many of them pegged them to win it all this year. Can they take it one step further than the last year and actually win the Stanley Cup? I have to believe that they can. I mean, this is a team up until last season. They hadn't been to the, to the Stanley Cup since 94. Um, and we can't forget that they – Every road trip they've had out west this season, they've dominated Western Conference teams. Mm -hmm. um, I just think that that, and they have they have it all. They have the goaltender, they have defense, they have offense. The one thing that they're lacking a little bit is the power play, but we've seen that come alive a little bit against the Penguins here. And mm -hmm. I just think that this could really be their time to to make it all the way. This is, I think, the deepest Rangers team we've seen mm -hmm. in like years. Like we said, Lundqvist is easily the best goaltender I think in the NHL. Uh, they picked up the, the defenseman Yandel, I think, at the trade yep. deadline. That he's been a huge pickup for them and mm -hmm. that defense is scary now especially yeah. with Lundqvist and that and they have enough offensive firepower too mm -hmm. I think they are the heavy favorites and for your final question Scott Darlin has now started two straight playoff games for the Black Ops over their number one goaltender Corey Crawford is this a wise decision from coach Joel Quinnevel I have to believe so. You have to go, when it comes to the Stanley Cup, when it comes to the playoffs, you have to go with your guy who's producing. And right now, that's been Scott Darling. Mm -hmm. In game one, Corey Crawford, he came in on just 12 shots, gave up three goals. They pulled him. Darling came in, stopped all 42 shots that he faced, and they were able to come back and win that game. You know, they put Crawford in, try again for game two. He gave up six goals. Right now, he just doesn't have it, and Darling does, and they have to go with him for right now. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to play the hot hand if you're the Blackhawks. Mm -hmm. He's... Dolan has been incredible in that. Like, yep. I do believe I think Corey Crawford will find it at some point. I think he's too good not to. Yeah. But right now, if you you got to get out, of, you got to focus on getting out of this series and moving on to the next Absolutely. round to the Black and Off. He carried them before. He carried them to that championship a couple years ago. Um, but right now, Darling's their guy. Yeah, I 100% agree with the move. Yep. All right. So now for your questions, Mike. Let's do it. Out of all the teams in the playoffs, which player is most important for their team's success? I think it's Sidney Crosby for the Penguins. Yeah. Uh, he's, I think, he's one of the best players in the NHL, if not the best. Mm -hmm. And really, he's their guy for the Penguins. I think he's going to be the reason why they're still in it in this series against the Rangers. This guy can score. He can pass. He can do it all for them. Mm -hmm. And I really don't know who else for the Penguins can step up. Maybe their goaltender. Uh, yeah. But uh, he's easily the guy, I think. They need him if they're going to have a chance. Yeah. And especially if they can somehow squeeze by the Rangers, if Sidney Crosby can have a big series. This could be a team to watch out for in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I think everyone's pegging you know, the Rangers, Rangers, Rangers. Penguins have a shot. However, one guy can't do it alone, especially when it comes to hockey. Absolutely. So we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. For your second question, which underdog team can you see making a run to the Stanley Cup Finals? Uh, it's crazy to call them an underdog team, but I'm going to call um, say Detroit. Like this is a All team right. that a lot of people forget about. Mm -hmm. This team still has good young players. That, uh, they have good players. Uh, Dasuk. Uh, they have Zetterberg. They yeah. have Cronwell. They have some good talent, and they're a deep team. But I think the two thing, the few, uh, excuse me, the three things that'll put them over the edge in this playoffs: mm -hmm. their fan base. This is an energized fan base. They love their hockey in Detroit. Their system, which is incredible. Uh, you know, it's been around for years. Mm -hmm. And just their history. Like, we they always seem to show up during playoff time. Yeah, so absolutely. I, and fan expectations will drive any team far. Exactly. For your final question, how will Patrick Kane's return affect the Blackhawks? I, mean, I touched upon this earlier, but I think Patrick Kane's return is absolutely huge for this team. Yeah. He's much like Sidney Crosby, I think, for the mm -hmm. Penguins, uh, except the Blackhawks have a few more pieces in there. He's their guy. He's the most important player for that team. He could score. He could play defense. He could pass. He could do it all. And I said earlier, if like, no one thought Patrick Kane would be back for the playoffs. Yeah, and here he is. Maybe we thought the Blackhawks would, could squeeze by in the first round and like go home. Now I think they can make a run. I think mm -hmm. they can make a run to the Western Conference Finals, maybe to the Stanley Cup Finals. And like I said, I would love to see them play the Rangers for yeah, the Stanley Cup. He definitely has a little extra something that every team, every Stanley Cup team, you need that one player who can get you that step further. And for the Blackhawks, it's definitely him. Well, here's hoping that he can take them all the way. All right, let's do it for our rapid fire round. After the break, we'll wrap it up with We'll wrap things up with coming at you. Stay with us. Welcome back. It's now time for coming at you, where we're going to ask each other a question made up on the spot. 
Ali, we'll start with your question. All right, so of all the teams that were kind of on the bubble of making the playoffs, we have you know, the Kings, the Bruins, Dallas, even the Florida Panthers a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, for you, who is the biggest surprise to not make the playoffs? Well, I think all these teams have been kind of a surprise because we're so used to them, but I'm going to go mm -hmm. with the Kings because right. this is an immensely talented team, especially in net with Jonathan Quick. Yeah. It's quite a surprise not to see them in the playoffs because this is a team that usually finds a way to squeak in at the end, mm -hmm. and then they go on a run and they surprise everybody. Right. We saw it last year we saw it a few years ago mm -hmm. I think to me they're my biggest surprise Boston's also up there because again I think we're just too used to seeing them in <laughs> yeah, the yeah they're always a force yeah they have a, another studded goaltender they have a solid defense it's a it's going to be a shame without those two teams in the playoffs but I think we're still going to have a wonderful series here and we're going to have a wonderful playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I completely agree with you here. The Kings, and what's surprising, too, is that most of their team was completely intact. Besides mm -hmm. a couple injuries, they just couldn't get the job done this year. Exactly. So. All right, Ellie, for your question, can Calgary, is this their year? Can they make a run to the Stanley Cup Finals? I think that they can make it a lot further than a lot of teams you know, think they can right now. But I, I don't think they can win the Stanley Cup. I'm not sure that they're going to get to that round. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they haven't been in the playoffs since 2009, but they're known for their come, behind, come from behind wins. They're a team, they're going to grind it out each time. Like I said, they may fall behind, but at the end of the day, they, most of the time, they can get the job done. Um, they have a 3-1 series lead right now over the Canucks. Um, you know, you, you can't forget their top players. You got Johnny Hockey in there, um, <laughs> Sean Monahan, Yuri Hoodler. All these guys can really combine for some winning power. I just think this may be their year to make a longer run than they, we have seen, yeah. but I don't think they're going to win the this Cup. This is a team that definitely caught my eye. I didn't have them winning the series. I had Vancouver moving on, yeah. and to go up 3-1 on them this quickly, it's it's been impressive. Like This is this is the underdog team I think I would love to see like make a run. I mm -hmm. think them in Detroit would be like an incredible story if they were somehow yeah. like good all the way up there. But who knows? I think they are in good shape. I think they'll make a deeper mm -hmm. run, like you said, but this is a new year. But hopefully next year or a few yeah. years down the road, they can Who knows? be a Finally getting to the playoffs and that experience alone will help their players exactly. a lot. Exactly. They can be a constant contender now. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll do it for this edition of Sports Outlet. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, if you're interested in joining LTV, like us on Facebook or email us at ltv at tcnj.edu. For Ellie Shuckman, I'm Michael Joswick. Have a good one.